Here is a brief history and evolution of mime. The performance of mime originates at its earliest in ancient Greece. The name is taken from a single masked dancer called Pantomimus, although performances were not necessarily silent. In this video I will show you the full history of mime, so ensure to watch to the end of this video. Also, kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are new here to help this channel grow. The evolution of mime all started in 450 BCE. Historians believe that mime may have developed in the 4th and 5th centuries BCE. Greek mime is often described as dealing with domestic and romantic situations, usually in a highly suggestive manner. It was also used to parody mythological figures and stories. In 100 BCE, the Roman pantomime was made. Eventually, the craft of mime reached the Roman Empire. The Romans developed a form they referred to as pantomime, in which a single male dancer interpreted classical literature, sometimes accompanied by a chorus that chanted and or musicians. Later on in 1550, we had Commedia dell'arte. Between 1550 and 1750, Commedia dell'arte, meaning comedy of professional artists, flourished during the Italian Renaissance. Commedia dell'arte was highly improvisatory. Though the scenarios were written by company members. In 1760, there was a spread of Commedia dell'arte. From 1760 to 1800, the theatrical style of Commedia dell'arte gradually spread across Europe, becoming particularly popular in England and France. Troops in these countries used their own stories and traditions to create scenarios. In 1920, mime came into the 20th century. As technology and theater arts developed, the art of mime saw a new opportunity to spread at the turn of the century. With the advent of film, actors would perform silently to musical tracks. Though much different than early mime, emphasis on expression and the focus on the actor remained constant. Later on in 1959, we had Marcel Marceau. Marcel Marceau was a French actor who became best known for bringing the art of mime back to the forefront of contemporary theater. His persona of Bip the Clown was inspired by one of Charlie Chaplin's silent film characters, Little Tramp in 1959. In 2018, we had our current popular mime. Today, the art of mime continues to be a relatively popular genre of theater. Silent acting groups and improv groups rely heavily on gestures and actions in order to entertain audiences. Many theaters in the United Kingdom and Ireland put on Christmas pantomimes, which often involve lots of dancing and music as well as pantomime. Makes the rest of the world seem like a very loud place. Finally, we have gotten to the end of this video. If you found value in this video, kindly like this video and share it with your friends. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you will receive our videos immediately we upload. Thanks for watching.